seconds since I stopped. So, all the things, all the things that we've uh, learned in science, biology in particular, uh, chemistry as well, big part, uh, just biology, paleontology, uh, evolution, life chemistry over time and uh, what we've we've come to be doing is, uh, you know building ourselves preparing ourselves to make copies and passing them on passing on our uh, our modifications our changes are uniqueness from there, the other copies um, but in this process I mean for this process to occur we need resources life it's so much like us it's so nice feels so good you know and then uh, to be surrounded with um, less uh, living stuff kind of distinguishes us you know it's kind of like uh, preparing for a journey across the badlands or uh Standing atop a pyramid, I suppose. Um, being separate. Separate from the rest of the world. Even if it's just by a little hill. But, point being, life expands, takes in resources, needs resources. There's so many better words. I don't, I don't have them. Um, more, more meaningful, more thoughtful, more considerate of language. But I'll just try to get the, the point out. Since I don't, have, don't have the best quiver. We I really I want to say we were we were destined like life was destined to just not stop um now we can choose. I almost, I almost don't like this. I almost don't like. Uh, I almost don't like. There, are, there are some things about humans that uh, I don't like. kind of see it as an attempt to separate ourselves from other animals, because we are um, different, all animals are different, I'm different than you even, um, it doesn't matter if you're a clone of me, we're still different, you know, one A doesn't equal another A, <laughs> it never can, but only, I mean, A can equal itself, but A cannot equal A. Two different A's at two different times. Two different things. Uh, separate. So. So we gotta get out. We gotta get away. 
we're going to get away. Life just gets away. Life is constantly moving away. Because that's where the stuff is. That's where the non-life stuff is. And as much as we love life, and we want to be with life, we also want stuff. so much potential just in this planet alone so many possibilities don't even think about the surface think about the whole thing straight through the crust the mantle all of it dissolving being dissolved life is dissolving this planet from the surface to the core give it less than a billion years less than a hundred million years probably maybe less than one million years one one million years we could have this we could have this planet gone scattered throughout the galaxy we could completely rebuild it in any orbit that we wanted to and not, and not with our hands. We're not going to dig and place, dig and place. We have robots now. Whoa. Technology. Science. This brought This capability. This extension. This extension. Just like the claws. Just like the teeth. Just like, uh, like the feet. Technology is an extension that allows us, that allows life to get to places that it couldn't get to before. Um, that the majority of that facility over there is, it's not so much a mining facility, but large, you know, limestone. They're digging a hole. Um, limestone is made of is it coccola fours, those little uh, little tiny round organisms. Um, there's another there's another better name, I think. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it's just little uh, whoa, little little tiny organisms. You know, and it tickles me to think of. Every one of them being alive at some point. Just the, the whole surface, uh, the soil. You know, you grab a handful of dirt and you look at it. You know, and you can see skeletons of recent things and you can find skeletons of things that, you know, have been alive for, I mean, around here, four, 400, 380 million years. 380 million years. 400 million years. Maybe some. Some that are on the surface here, as old as 420, and, and maybe more. I'm just thinking of the layer, of the uh, stratigraphic layer itself. Uh, I imagine there are some other places where we've gone much farther down. Uh, but glaciers and things, they've not, they've not gone down. Um, they did a lot more work work, real work, um, than we did, uh, they applied a lot more force, they, uh, they moved a lot more, and they made it available for us, for us to make buildings out of cement, to pour our foundations, to make concrete and bricks it's bricks but anyway blocks bricks are another thing it's all it's all something else isn't it but it's it's all the same thing it's all earth 
that's all. The universe. It's all material from the past. And put to use in the future. my reflection perfectly but the camera only picks up the top of my head Look, there's my nose anyway so this is what we've been doing this is what everything that's led up to this point has been for Now we can choose to stop it. We can choose to decide that this is enough and uh, it's not our purpose. Life hasn't been doing this. The universe, you know, hasn't been reacting in this way. Or, or it has, but now we can recognize that and stop it. In every way that we do stop it, I, uh, I got it. I hurt. I hurt myself. Just to think. biomass as a whole uh, the earth as a whole you know obviously there's still a lot for us to get to here um, you know for the most part this <coughs> part of the biosphere. That's the big, big point. Um, if we make machines better than us, um, we shouldn't be afraid of them. You know, proud, proud mom of a graduating student. I'm a proud mother. Proud father. You don't see those. Use this proud mother. Proud mother of a U of M's. Proud mother of something better. Something better. Proud parents. Why don't you be proud parents? Rather than being afraid of your fucking children. Rather than treating your creations like your murderer, like, like, like a criminal economy. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Old people, 
you're dying. You're dying, and you don't want some new life form to come along, some something healthier, something better. You're a, a weak gazelle. You might even be. You might even be a fresh, you know, young gazelle. You know, and your parents, your gazelle mom, dad, have just begun telling you about the cheetahs, the cheetahs that they've run from, the cheetahs they. Cheetahs that that you've come to be that we that that products of gazelle DNA have come to be so good at getting away from. So it's not just old people, but for the most part it's old people because old people are people who were young and people who have come to acquire things, people have come to expect things, people have come to uh, be happy with uh, what they got, and, uh, and that's it. And they've just they've gotten to the point where they want to defend what they've, come, what they've come to know, what they've come to acquire, the resources that they've collected, the bodies that they've built. resources okay so it's good it's good for a lot of reasons but it it's beginning I mean it always has been eating itself I was gonna say it's, it's starting to eat itself it's starting to kill itself but <laughs> we did that we started doing that what three million through a billion Excuse me, excuse me. Three billion years ago. Maybe more. Three three point five, three point eight. Maybe maybe we started four billion years ago and we just started eating each other three point eight billion years ago. Um, there's still so much to learn and uh, so so much to piece together so that we can see the puzzle that was the, the picture the picture that was taken in the past it has been eroded cut by the jigsaw over time into little pieces and put in a box for us to put back together. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice if we could put them all together and completely see it. But even then, it would just be a picture. It wouldn't actually be there. It wouldn't be in Morocco or Thailand, Spain, Portugal, uh, Venice.
gravity. Gravity is almost too much for us to escape. But well, we've we've managed to do it. You know, we've managed to take flight. We've managed to uh, break. Try to hold steady for a little bit.